Earth is but a tiny speck in a vast cosmos. Is it likely, is it even possible, that Earth is the only world that supports life? Since the beginning of history, we've pondered these questions, but it's only in recent years that we've started to find some answers. In fact, we can figure out the number of planets that should support life by looking at the first half of the Drake Equation, first formulated in 1961. We take the number of stars times the fraction of these that have planets, times the fraction of these planets that can support life, times the fraction of those which actually develop life. Anyone can tell by looking up at night that there are vast numbers of stars, but ancient astronomers would be astonished to learn just how many there are. In fact, there are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, and there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. There are more stars than all the grains of sand and all the beaches of the entire world. The next question is, what fraction of stars host planets? Based on recent data from the Kepler Space Telescope, a reasonable guess might be one or two planets per star. Although many of these planets are quite different from Earth, it seems that at least a small percentage of stars do have planets at the right distance to support liquid water. That's a lot of potential Earth-like planets. What fraction of these habitable planets actually support life? This is something that we don't know, but we do know that the building blocks of life, the organic molecules, are common throughout the entire universe. We also know that simple life on Earth formed relatively soon after the Earth became habitable, but it took billions of years for more complex life to evolve. This suggests that life may be common, but more complex life may be relatively rare. There may be many planets out there thriving with bacteria, or even oceanic worlds covered in algae. Currently, we only know of one planet with life, Earth. As an experiment, this means almost nothing, because we need to be here to make that observation. If we were to find life anywhere else, even in our own solar system, on Mars, Europa, on Titan, Enceladus, anywhere, and that life didn't originally come from Earth, this would mean that life is absolutely common throughout the entire universe.